guaifenesin or trade name Robitussin. I know you've heard of this. I know you've probably taken Robitussin before. So let's talk about what it is because this is important to understand because so many patients are going to be taking this over the counter uh, and we really need to understand what it does and what we need to be teaching our patients about it. So guaifenesin, its indication is for cough suppression and expectorant. What is expectorant? Well, when expectorant really means getting all that junk, all that crud up out of our lungs and getting rid of it. So the action, what it really does is it decreases viscosity of and mobilizes secretions. So what does that mean? Really what that means is it means it makes our our mucus less sticky so that we can then move it. We can get rid of it. Okay. It makes it uh, less clingy so we can, we can clump it together and get rid of it. Okay. I know that sounds really disgusting, but that's really what it does. So its therapeutic class is allergy, cold, and cough remedy and expectorant. Some of the nursing considerations to keep in mind. The first one I want you to keep in mind is the patient needs to maintain adequate fluid intake. Okay, as we're decreasing the viscosity of these secretions, we really need to increase our fluid intake to help even move it more and to get all of it out. That's the first thing you need to keep in mind. That's one thing you're going to be tested on and you're going to see is we need to make sure our patients that are taking these medications are taking extra fluid, okay? We want to assess the lung sounds of our patient. We want to see... You know, are we getting rid of this? Are the lungs becoming more clear? And is it actually working? Remember, with every medication that we give, there's assessment, right? ADPI, assess, diagnose, plan, implement, evaluate. So the, the first thing with everything that we do is we assess. We gave the medication. Okay, that was our plan. That We implemented our plan. Now we need to evaluate. We need to assess again. We need to reassess, see what's going on. Did it work? Are the lungs becoming more clear? Remember, keep the nursing process in mind. That's the first thing you always do. The patient should avoid any over-the-counter cold medications. If they're taking Robitussin, if you're giving them Gwyphenicin in the, in the hospital, they need to avoid all over-the-counter medications so that we know what they're taking and what's going on. This can be really difficult with, with patients in general. Sometimes you have patients come in and they'll bring their purse of meds and they may not tell you about it, okay? So for example, just different from this, a patient might have some Xanax in their purse uh, and, and you give them all these medications, right? And everything's going fine. Uh, and, then, and then they're popping Xanax on their own to help them sleep at night, right? That can't really happen in the hospital. We need to know what's going on because we can't evaluate and do the treatments that we need to do if we don't know exactly what's happening with our patients at all times. So you really need to understand what what medications the patient has, what medications does the family have that they're wanting to give the family member, okay, or the patient. So really keep that in mind. Make them understand why you need to know what's going on. And the main reason is we can't give them the best treatment possible if we don't know exactly what's happening. So that is Gwyphenicin, trade name Robitussin, and you will see this medication often in your career. This has been another episode of the Nursing.com MedMaster Podcast. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN alumnus, and I want to give you our free download of the 50 most commonly prescribed medications. To get that free download, just go to Nursing.com slash 50 meds. That's 50 Nursing.com slash 50 meds. We love you guys. We want you to succeed. That's why we provide clear, concise, and visual supplement for nursing school and the clinical floor. We love you guys. Go out and be your best selves. Happy nursing.